Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP, and the guest is Alana McLaughlin. Alana uh, has some information to talk about dealing with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, and she has again agreed as uh, er at earlier shows to uh, talk about that information within the context of some of the questions that uh, people might have in reference to this very, very important uh, organization. Uh, Lana, let's start by having you to uh, talk about uh, Alana McLaughlin uh, this morning, to talk about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually leading you to uh, us this morning, and especially to talk about such a very, very important topic as the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Let's get some information, then we'll t talk about that uh, topic. Okay. My first school was Napier Elementary School, where I had Mr. Downey for pre-K. Then my second school was Alex Green, where I did kindergarten and first grade with Mrs. Harfield for kindergarten and Mrs. Jennifer Berry for first grade. Now, after that, I again switched schools to Glen Elementary, where I did second and third grade because I had because for second, I had Trudy Vest, and for third, I had Wendy Anderson. Now, I am currently in fourth grade with teacher Caitlin Ashtrew at Robert Churchwell Magnet Museum Elementary. And so you think that uh, this educational environment has given you enough courage to uh, want to talk about what we consider to be a very, very serious topic, and that is the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. But as all of us know, uh, you can not talk about that topic until you deal with that crucial issue of uh, slavery. And let's talk about uh, what you know about the institution of slavery that started more than 300 years, that in, in which Africans were involved for more than 300 years. What about uh, slavery as you know it? Well, slavery started, well, it just basically started, and then it went on for 300 years. And after those 300 years, the black people were just freed from being owned by a slave owner. Yeah. Now, it was illegal to have a slave. And in the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, the 13th state that all black people have freedom. Mm -hmm. And the 14th stated that they are legally a citizen. And the 15th gave them the right to vote. And so, in a real sense, the end of the Civil War that came, uh, as most folks uh, believe, in 1865. And so you're saying that these three amendments, the 13th Amendment, uh, the 14th Amendment, and the 15th Amendment to the Constitution, uh, ended not only ended slavery, but it put black people in a very, very different situation. Now, now how did people react to uh, Africans uh, being emancipated, being free, given citizenship, and uh, given the right to vote? Well, some terrorist groups did not like that at all. They wanted to push black people back into slavery for they thought that the black people couldn't be citizens, that they shouldn't have the right to vote, and that they should not be a citizen. And so there was quite a bit of opposition, you're saying, to... Uh, now, who were some of the uh, uh, individuals who opposed this, uh, some groups that opposed this uh, idea of African citizenship and uh, uh, freedom and et cetera? Well, the NAACP started in 1909, in which that their dream was to block, was to get the barrier from black people and white people, and just to make it go away. So there was a, uh, an idea about equality, even with the very, very beginning of the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Is that what we're saying? Yes, I am. Okay, and I think what we're uh, preparing now for uh, uh, very, the very next minute, the end of the show. But I think that what you've said now about the NAACP, you've indicated that it, it's a very, very important organization, and you give, given the uh, date that in which it started in 1909. And when we come back, we, what we want to do is to uh, delve farther into this whole issue of the National Association for the Advancement of Public People, because I think what you've tried to do now is to hit only the top 
Now, I want you to talk about the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, the 14th and the 15th Amendment uh, when we come back. But first, we have to uh, have this uh, first commercial break. But do you have any problems in terms of what, what the, the uh, delivery of the information that you're giving us today? No problems. I am very prepared, and I am very ready to speak as of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Okay, and so we, we want you to speak to that issue uh, within the next 20 seconds, you see, because we've got that time, and uh, so within the next 20 seconds, we want you to uh, tell everything that you know about the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, because this was your idea. You uh, must remember to uh, talk about this uh, crucial organization. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> of colored people